Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a free and easy way to extract one or more images from an Excel spreadsheet in Power Automate using another Cloudmersive document conversion connector action. This is a great tool for grabbing and repurposing content used in reports that were shared with us. And in my example, I'll be extracting a product image from a generic retail sales spreadsheet. Let's start by clicking on the Create tab and selecting the Instant Cloud Flow option. Let's make this a manually triggered flow to streamline our testing process. On the Flow Diagram page, let's begin by adding an action that retrieves the Excel file with the image we want. I'll be using a Get File Content action to retrieve an example file from OneDrive. Next, let's add a new action, and then let's type Cloudmersive into the search bar. Let's scroll down the list of Cloudmersive connectors until we find the Cloudmersive document conversion connector with the green logo. Let's click See More so we can review the actions list. Please note that if it's our first time using this connector, we'll need to authorize our connection with a free API key. Free API keys allow a limit of 800 API calls per month with no commitments, and we can get one by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. Once we're looking at the Cloudmersive document conversion connector actions list, let's find the action called Get Images from an Excel spreadsheet using a control find search through our browser. The action we want is just over halfway down this list if we want to scroll down instead. Let's go ahead and click on it once we find it. When we're looking at this Actions Parameters tab, let's click Show All to enumerate all our request parameters. As we can see, we have the option to perform this operation on Excel file bytes or a public Excel file URL. The Get File Content action provides file bytes, so I'll be using that option. Below these fields, we have two optional parameters available which can be used to narrow down our image retrieval action. If we have enough information available to us, we can provide the path to a specific image object in our spreadsheet, or we can provide the specific user-facing name of the worksheet we want to pull images from. I'm only grabbing one image from my example document, so I'm leaving both parameters blank. The action we just configured will retrieve a few different pieces of information for us, including the image data content type, embed ID, and the image's internal file name. Most importantly, it will retrieve all the image contents from our Excel document and return them as temporary editing URLs. These URLs can be used to chain additional URL-based actions together in Power Automate, but if we're not going that route, we can simply download our image file bytes using another free Cloudmersive API. To find that action, let's click Add an Action, and then let's type the words Finish Editing into the Action search bar. Below, we should see a Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector action come up called Finish Editing Document and Download Result. Let's select this action and then let's click Show All to enumerate this action's only request parameter. If we open up our Flow's dynamic content window, we can select output content called Image Contents URL in this field. The second we do that, Power Automate will automatically wrap our action in an Apply to Each control to account for the fact that we could be downloading multiple unique images from one Excel document. Within the Apply to Each control, we can now add a Create File action to generate a new image file. Once we're done selecting a location for our new image or files, we can save our flow and run a quick test. When we open our target folder, we should see the image file or files we extracted stored as independent objects. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations.